Hi, I saw your article and I thought it was, you made a good point and I, and I understand your argument. But um, do you see any irony in the fact that, you know, you're talking about people are so concerned in America with physical beauty and yet here you are all dressed up and got your, got your matching purple lipstick. Uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is it seems kind of hip hypocritical that you're judging people for judging others based on their physical appearance, appearance but you you go through great lengths to make sure your personal appearance is is appropriate or I should say more than appropriate is, is looking good that's what your thing is about uh, not to knock you but the fact of the matter is uh, most of the world was colonized by European and and that and during that co colonial process uh, the people in power, the people who took over the country, were and and were running things. The people, movers and shakers, were lighter complected because that was seen as being closer to the colonists. Uh, so, and you, and you have that in La in Latin America, for example, in Argentina, uh, you'll see the the movers and shakers in in the uh, higher echelon of the. Um, governments will always be lighter complexion. Same with Brazil, same all across Latin America. You'll see it, especially in Africa, um, because the, the concept is that if you are lighter complexed, then somehow you are can closer, you have some closer nexus to the colonial power that, that uh, put instilled these organizations. So I don't think it's an accident that um, you, you, you pointed out several examples of uh, uh, these Eurocentric uh, feet, black women with Eurocentric features, Beyonce, I think you said Halle Berry. Um, it's, it, it should be, it should come as no surprise to you that um, uh, people who are of that bear those um, attributes are going to be uh, considered more attractive. That's just the way that um, the I should say colonization dice rolled. If it had been the other way around, uh, you know, and, and, and if, uh, col the colonists had come out of Africa and, and went to Europe, I, I, I would venture to say that the results would be the converse. So I hear your point on that. Now let me get back to this study uh, by uh, Kanazawa. Now what, what Kanazawa is saying, and I, I think this is probably lost, in, in um, the, the vitriol that, that, you know, most people will read this and, and only go to the page 18 and go slap the book closed and, and make an assumption. What, what the book is saying, he's taking, uh, uh, trying to be scientific about it, is he's saying, statistically sh uh, speaking, when we ask uh, a, a smattering of people, let's just make it a, a random group of 5,000 that, that typically is the number that you would use in a scientific study. If we ask 5,000 people, what are some of the things that you like to look at when you're looking at a member of the opposite sex? If 5,000 people basically come up with, from various backgrounds, from, from, from um, uh, a, a disparate group, you, you know, uh, for control, you, you want to always do that. If you're, if you consider yourself a scientist, you want to try to have some objectivity to it. If five thousand people say are saying essentially the same thing, then are they all wrong? Because they would prefer Beyonce over Oprah. And, and, and I guess what I'm trying to say is, is um, when, when, it, when I go to um, the the Seven Eleven, for example, when I go to get a coffee. At the, at the coffee place, Th there's always hazelnut creamer, and and the, you know they'll be short of of this cream or this cream or cream, but that, there's always hazelnut creamer there. And the point I'm trying to make is that's not just here, where I am at now in Missouri. I could go to California and the same thing would happen. That I could go to New Jersey and the same thing would happen. And and the point I'm trying to make is if that's what the market demands then you have to start thinking about maybe the supply is 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 too great or is somehow flawed and 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 you know for me to say that young black women uh have are are, are just going to have self-esteem issues because of this is this is the the way the chips fell during the colonization of this of this world 
that's a sad thing. That's a, that's a cold, hard reality that I think most people of color have to um, uh, accept, is that we did not get out of Africa before the Europeans and, and start colonizing the, the world. And, 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 you know, that repercussion is still rever reverberating. Those things are still happening today. Um, but I think it's changing. And, and I think what's going to happen when this thing flip-flops? Because, you know, with all this interracial marriage and, and, and uh, all this dating outside the race, at some point, there will be no more Eurocentric look. It will be, uh, I don't know, we'll just call it a pan-global look. And at some point, those um, features that Angelina Jolie is is in search of with the full lips and and uh, Coco you mentioned with the with the full hips and 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 all those those very um, I wouldn't say uniquely black but uh, those features that are closely tied to the black identity maybe that will become the new standard of beauty and I guess maybe we're just born at a, at the most inopportune time but I I, I don't think you can besmirch the science of, of, of the finding of this guy if he did it objectively. Now, I haven't read the entire report. I've read the, the uh, synopsis. But the, what I would say is it appears to me that he's he's done due diligence in, in his search, in his survey. And, and the point is, uh, this is the old, don't kill the messenger, be mad at the message, you know, and... and who is exploiting this message? Marketers will tell you in a minute. Um, if you want to get out to that prime demographic, that 18 to 34 demographic, you have to be rel um, not just relevant, but what, what's the word I'm looking for? You have to be topical, but at the same time, cutting edge. And, and let's face it, there's nothing that says cutting edge more than urban look the urban look and what they're trying to do and and you'll see this in marketing all over is they're trying to get the edge trying to get that that hard edge but they want to put it with a little bit of uh white you know the the, the acceptable caucasian look because they don't want to frighten their potential customers off they want to and, and uh, let me just back up this idea this concept that i'm talking about now really hit me full force when i saw a commercial for birth control uh recently and it, and it um had a what i consider to be a biracial asian white woman and and there's something about the dominant genes in the asian eye you know, I, I hate to say this but the the slanted eye are, are seem to be a, a very dominant trait and if there is a, um, a mixed race Asian uh, and Caucasian person, they, they may have the fair skin and they may have the, the other um, most predominantly Caucasian look, but very rarely will they ever not have the um, almond shaped eyes. And this was a, I wish I could remember the name for the birth control, but it's a picture of a woman. And it starts out, you know, and they're talking in the background, and it's a, she looks, she appears to be white when you when you first see her, and then as you, as the camera gets up on her, you realize, oh, she's she's a little Asian, she's got some Asian in her, and and the um, marketing is is trying to get you, it's talking about this birth control pill and how it, it's something about where it's you can don't have to take it every day or so it, it offers you some kind of. Um, you know, diversion from the, the normal birth control. It's a little bit better because of this reason. And and then we see her in the car, and she's driving, and it's a convertible, and she's got sunglasses on, dark sunglasses. So you can't see her uh, Asian eyes that would, uh, the telltale uh, indicator that would let you know, oh, this is an Asian person, or at least a person with some Asian ancestry. You can't tell. It's indeterminate because she's got the, the sunglasses on and the scarf is flowing. And then the next scene, she's walking with her boyfriend and they're going to the movies. And uh, now you can't determine it at all because it's it, the shot is so far away 
but it, it, then it, when it closes down again, now she's in the kitchen and and she's cooking or preparing meal or something, and now you can see her eyes again. And the point I'm trying to make is that marketers know about this uh, uh, divergence that happens when people are being uh, advertised to. They they want it. They want to see something that that still invokes. Uh, uh, a spirit of oh that's like me but at the same time they want something that's a little cutting edge a little risque and, and my point is those almond shaped eyes who's to say in the year 2070 when most of the world is of Asian descent as they are now you know uh, and probably speaking Mandarin all over the world um, who's to say those Asian eyes aren't going to be an attribute as as uh, as opposed to today where they m m most people would say it would probably be a detriment if you were to go into a job interview you know and those full lips that um, Angelita Jolie hired someone to put in to install uh, who's to say that those that African women African American women who are naturally imbued with those attributes who's to say that that won't be the um, uh, standard of, of beauty at, in, in the future, and I just, I just, uh, I just think we're just unfortunate at this period of time, and uh, there's really no one to blame, and certainly not some Japanese scientist that um, has no real axe to grind with with the black community. I just, I think maybe the we're, yeah, I can understand the frustration, I understand the anger, but I think maybe you're killing the messenger, and 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 missing the message.